I am Filino Punsalan, 96 years old, and I am an American World War II veteran. Today is August 15, 2012. As veterans and widows mark the 67th anniversary of the surrender of Japan and the victory of the Allies in the Pacific and in World War II, we are surrendering our medals and military uniforms back to the U.S. government. For the last 20 years, we've been lobbying to the U.S. Congress for full recognition of the U.S. military service of the Filipinos who were drafted in war by President Roosevelt and who decidedly won that war. The U.S. Congress, through the Recession Act of 1946, took away the full recognition and full benefits from the Filipinos who were American nationals before and during the war. Out of the 66 Allied nationalities who served the U.S., not once but twice in history, Filipinos were singled out from the other American veterans not to be recognized. Approving the current equity bill, H.R. 210, the Filipino Veterans Act of 200, 2011 would have been the last chance for the U.S. Congress to reverse injustice and redeem itself from her historical mistake. The U.S. Congress has once again failed. The Office of U.S. Representative Jeff Miller of Pensacola, Florida District, Chairman of the House of Veterans Affairs Committee, has rejected our appeal for an immediate committee hearing. The equity bill has 96 co-sponsors, other bills with 13, 6 or even 0 co-sponsors had earned public hearings, but not to a bill that will provide honor and dignity to the Filipino veterans. In behalf of my fellow American veterans, widows and advocates for justice, I am surrendering these medals and uniforms to leave a permanent protest to the U.S. government that time and again have denied my right for full recognition. I remain faithful to the American people and the, medal and the ideals of freedom, honor, and dignity that they represent. Just as veterans have the obligation to serve this nation, they have the right to be recognized for their service and guarantee.